All is that alone, consciousness and the undivided essence only, devoid of even the number one. All is awareness alone. This is all consciousness alone. All is indeed full of awareness. The reflection of the self, too, is consciousness alone. All is full of awareness, indeed. All the world is consciousness alone. All is full of awareness indeed. Your being and my being, too, are consciousness alone. There isn't a thing besides awareness. Space, earth, water, air, fire, Brahma, Hari, Shiva. The least whatever of these, and even a trifle other than these, are all full of awareness indeed. Whatever consciousness there is, that is all undivided essence alone. The past and future are consciousness alone. All is only awareness indeed. Matter and time are consciousness only. Knowledge is full of consciousness indeed. The knowable and knowledge are awareness only. All is only awareness indeed. Talk is consciousness alone, and speech is full of consciousness indeed. Truth and untruth are consciousness alone. All is indeed awareness only. Consciousness is the beginning and the end of everything. Everything is ever full of consciousness by its very being. If there be Brahma, he is only awareness. Vishnu is indeed consciousness alone.
even Rudra and the Celestials are consciousness only. Likewise, humans, animals, gods and demons, guru and disciple are being alone. Even knowledge is indeed consciousness only. Even the seer and the seen are consciousness only. So are the knower and the known, the fixed and the unfixed. All fabulous things are also consciousness alone. The body is indeed only consciousness. Even the symbol is only consciousness, and so are cause and effect, form and formlessness, and thus virtue and sin are also consciousness alone. Duality and non-duality are consciousness only, and so are the Vedas and Vedanta. Even the directions and the directionless and their guardians are only consciousness. Transactions and such, past, future, and present, are awareness only. Name and form, beings and worlds, are only consciousness. Prana is indeed consciousness only. All the senses are awareness alone. The five sheaths and such are only consciousness. Only consciousness is spoken of as bliss. The eternal and the ephemeral are consciousness only. All is indeed consciousness alone. There is nothing eternal except consciousness. There is nothing in truth except consciousness. Even dispassion is consciousness. This is consciousness only, you see. The supports, etc., are indeed awareness, and so are the supported, O Great One.
Whatever and however much there is, is but consciousness only. Whatever and however much is seen far away, is all indeed consciousness alone. Whatever and however many beings there be, whatever and however many are spoken of, whatever and however much is said by the Vedas, are all indeed awareness alone. There is no bondage, but consciousness alone. There is no liberation, but consciousness alone. This is the truth, verily the truth, in the name of Shiva. All that is said in the three Vedas is but consciousness only. Whatever is explained by Shiva to Kumara, the same has been told to you. The rare one who hears this even once becomes Brahman himself. <laughs> 